All right, this is the 9C lecture video here, but I'm going to be showing you how to use the graphing tools. Um, in question number one, um, you can see I already put in the values, just like the first question in the notes. And we want to click to enlarge the graph. And when I move it, we got to choose a tool. And when I move my mouse over the parabola, you can see it says three point quadratic tool. So that means I just need to plot three points. And I can pick whichever three points I want to do. It doesn't matter what order. So I'm going to click on this and I'm just going to do, um, I go negative two, negative one. There's negative two, negative one. I'll just do the first three, negative one, negative four. And then I'm going to do zero, negative five. And you can see instantly it draws the parabola. save I check my answer and in this question it didn't say to graph the vertex of symmetry so I don't have to and that's all I need to do but that's an example of the three-point tool now I'm going to go to number five now this one is in standard form so I need to know what the vertex is if I click to enlarge this what makes inside the parentheses zero? That means it's a five. And then there's nothing being added, so the vertex is five, zero. So when I click over here, it says vertical parabola tool. I click on it, and it says plot the vertex of your parabola. That's the first thing I must do. So I said it was five, zero. So X is five, and Y is zero. So I click there, and there's five, zero. I gotta find a point near to it. So I'm gonna pick an X value that's close to five. So I'm just gonna do six. Six minus five is one. One squared is one. Three times one is three. So it's six comma three. So I go to six and then I go up to three. I enter it and there is my graphing tool here. Now this one, let's see. It says, and the axis of symmetry. Now the axis of symmetry is just where the x value. Remember the vertex was x equals 5. So I draw a line here. I go to where x equals 5. You're right on the vertex. Click. And then I just need to go up or down. Just make it a vertical line. And then we have to make it dash. So I have to click on the dash line. Save. Check my answer. And there it is. I have my parabola and I have my vertex of symmetry. But you got to make sure you read the directions here. And then I'll do one more because that's in the the standard form. I'm going to do one that's not in the standard form. And I've already started it, as you can tell. So I have my x value. I had to do the negative b over 2a. So I found x equals 3. I plugged into the equation at negative 15. Line of symmetry is always the x value. Now this is a positive x squared, so this is a minimum value. And my y value, in this case, is negative 15. So I just check my answer, and there I go on. And now i got to graph this. So again, I'm going to make this bigger. Again, it's the vertical parabola, so I just need the two points. I need to plot the vertex first, and that's 3, negative 15. So I go to 3, go all the way down. Oops. Let's go to positive 3, because that's positive 3, negative 15. There's 3, negative 15. Click. Now, zero is pretty close to this, and zero is an excellent number. So if I put zero, zero squared minus six times zero, that's just zero. So it's zero, negative six. So I just got to get over to zero, and then I got to go up to negative six. Hit enter. Okay, let's see. I don't think it says to graph it, so let's see if I do this correctly. Yes, it did not say graph the vertex of symmetry. So that's why that correction, that question is done correctly. So you got to be careful on the drawing, when to draw it and when not to draw it. And that's all this one is. I showed you the three different questions on how to graph the parabola. It's only the first couple questions where you have the three points. The rest of them are you draw the vertex first and then another point, just the two points. I hope that helps you through the graphing part of the MyLabs Plus.